Hey, what is up everyone? It is Rich. All right, welcome to a very, very kick-ass video today. And here comes the helicopter. I'm shutting this. All right. Um, I uh, apologize if my audio was a little low yesterday. I had set up to live stream with Kelsey. Uh, we were going to pre-record some book review videos. And uh, I, I didn't realize that I'd never reset my... Um, I was Scarlet I2I uh, or 2I... No, I2I uh, in, uh, audio interface, and uh, I turned the volume down a little bit so I wouldn't blast him out. Uh, anyway, but all right, so look, we are going to look at Elric, The Ruby Throne. I feel like I've looked at this book before on YouTube, but the art is so good, and it was I was really kind of pushing myself to think of something pretty awesome to look at today and this this is so good so we'll, we'll look at the credits page in a second Th these three artists are credit for it dda pole um wrecked and bastide um and uh we'll, we'll again we'll get to the credits in one second so let me get to this page yeah so art and colors and it's um dda poli robin wrecked and uh jean bastide and it's written by julian blondel if i'm not mistaken though michael moorcock does refer to this as like the definitive uh elric um interpretation i'm pretty sure that i saw an interview with him not too long ago and or, or i read an interview and he had said that and and that's high praise it must have been really really cool to hear that um, I first got turned on to this book by, uh, Rageaholic on YouTube. I would follow his channel for, I think, music stuff, uh, and, and, uh, but he's a comic fan too, so, anyway, credit to him, because I probably would not have seen this, so I, the, I always search for Elric stuff, I'm a huge fan of the Elric, like, myth, mythos, so, um, uh, that was how I found it. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna go full screen, but we don't necessarily need to go in order for this book, um, cool like map of the area really really neat um, but all right so let's go full screen mode and get into the nitty gritty all right so this is pretty far into the book but look at how beautiful this is the sense of scale and just sheer magnificence magnificence of um the art in this book is so awesome it's it's really cinematic it's great comic book art it's like tight and loose and it's just everything it's got it all beautiful colors this is a, a lot to do i could see why three people collaborated on it and I, again i don't really know the um exact split up of the art but someone in the comment section will probably know i i should look up some interviews with um the artists and see if they've talked about this Man, the water is awesome. This is so cool. They fought the urge to put tentacles on all this stuff. I and mean, there's a little bit underneath, but usually, like, that's, like, sort of the flex when you do, like, these big, um, or the suction cups, I mean, I'm sorry. These are tentacles, but normally, I mean, you can see them kind of in here. They're, they're pretty, uh, scratchy. But, yeah, it's a good opportunity to put some 3D sort of, um, not 3D models, but, I mean, 3D, um, drawing in in uh into play oh this is so cool so we will be live for super fun sunday this weekend uh we're doing roger ibanez jazz maynard it's gonna be awesome if you haven't seen this book this guy is super stud i've got a bunch of stuff um that you may not have seen from him that are beautiful beautiful extras so uh it's gonna be a good one so he's a really solid and good artist to learn from, too, if you're interested in learning to draw or draw comic books. I think Roger is is excellent, in particular if the style connects with you, because he's real consistent. And um, I used him as a bit of a role model on Crystal Planet, because um, his stuff was so boiled down. So in my downtime, I would uh, look at it. But anyway, let's get back to this. Uh, we've got... Jellyfish, sea anemones. <laughs> or just spacey shit. Oh man, that's awesome. These guys keep it pretty rough. It doesn't ever feel careless. 
It just looks e efficiently like created. Really, really cool hand. I see a little bit of wash on this. So it looks like it maybe has pen and ink and then um, this could be wash. I mean, it could be, could be color washes too um, when they're coloring it. Oh man, look at that. That is cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that is so awesome I love the design on her she's really cool this is all neat oh man this is so badass I love I get to do YouTube and check out art with all of you it, it's really fun <laughs> great comments too it's always fun to read them so, uh, again, just keep recommending stuff too. the, the reason, the, uh, honestly, one of the reasons that I'm doing this is this gets recommended a lot. And even if I've done it, um, it never seems to satisfy the people that want to check it out. So, uh, that, that was actually why I picked it. Uh, cause I was racking my brains to think of a graphic novel, um, style book. Oh man, that's so cool. Really, really impressive how loose these inks are, or whatever you want to call them, more scratchy. I'm always impressed by that. It's it's not easy to do um, and have it really like. I mean, I, I, there's you have to have a level of confidence with the techniques um, in terms of like like that that that's enough that you you're not trying to go in and refine things and make them look tight. Uh, tight, tight meaning uh, clean, tight. But it's all expertly done. Like uh, here, we can turn this gray. And, like check this out a little bit. Pull out a little bit of the wash. Let's see if I grab that. Okay, let me do this one more time. It's gonna lose some of the line line art, but uh, yeah, that'll work. But you can see. I mean, this is all really, really beautiful inking in here. And then this is a little more scratchy. Still beautiful, but but again, you can see. Like look at look at this right here. These almost look like. Um, uh, like you, you, like if you were doing your thumbnails, you know, it's really, really interesting. You may not notice that if you're just reading the book or going through the story, but, um, you know, the tendency for most artists, myself included, is you would go, well, okay, like these are good gestures, but now I got to tighten them up. Like this guy's pretty tight. These are fine, but you know, I mean like down in here, look, it's just like little, like the, this is exactly how I set up crowd scenes, you know? So I put like a little Mignola kind of humpback thing and then drop a head on it. And if the guy's got a spear, you know, you pop out a hand and throw it up or give him a little helmet. Helmets are cool in this too. But anyway, just, just figured I'd point that out because it's, it's important to know. I mean, look at the hand too. This is some bold ass inking, you know? seriously really really good it's it looks like brush to me but it's some good shit so, so that was actually fun seeing that stuff um ripped apart a little bit oh dude this pose right here is so good <laughs> man that is awesome this is really good too wow this is incredible look it's kelsey <laughs> <laughs> man that's a great really great sequence fight scenes are tough man this is really good get the hair on his chest man those are some big thick lines damn hold on let's let's pull the the color out of this one a little bit too it's actually really helpful to see this in particular if you're an, an artist um but uh yeah like look at that in some ways like 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 uh, when, when I see um, Dan Panosian, although Dan gets more stylish with his stuff, like like Dan Dan keeps his line weights at about this like level. They're they're a little heavier than um, some of the more finessey stuff. But, but he he has a good blend of both, to be clear. Uh, but yeah, these are these are fairly thick lines that he's putting down, or they. Man, this is good. Jeez. Look at all the lines in the eye, the eyelashes, like like this right here, this area right here, and it just works. You know, you look at it and you go, "Yeah, that looks like a person with their eyes closed." And this again, that's really fantastic. This is fun. Oh boy, look at that! Another great shot. This is really really similar to the other one. 
Oh, this guy's face is awesome. <laughs> oh, God. Like, look at this pose. Man, this is so cool. Wow. It's funny because when I think of this book, I think of this color palette. And I'm not sure if the whole I, I'm try I can't remember if the whole series is like these sort of sepias with like red and like some kind of um umbery sort of things going on, but I kind of feel like it is. I don't know if it ever gets heavily into blues and greens or even magenta. I, I don't remember. I kind of think that this is this is the palette. I could be wrong, but that's interesting. Look at the lettering here. That's really cool. Wow, that is so cool. Look at the skeletons coming out of the water, attacking these dudes. It was funny. I was thinking about this the other day. This is like super dorky, like almost to the point of like, but I, I was talking to someone. I might have even been like, I was listening to like Led Zeppelin or something. And I heard like the immigrant song and I was thinking about like what it must have been like back in this day to like ride on a boat or to be the people like on land when like the Vikings would show up and like it was like it's the craziest it's the craziest idea ever like how long were their boat rides <laughs> you know like were they on the boat for days just like because this these boats don't even have freaking like un, under like uh, they're not like galleons or something some crazy shit It reminds me of the meme where it's like a it's like a wolf looking at like a pug and it's like what the fuck is that and it's like like uh, talking about like how our dogs are so such wussies now you know like if they're not fed on time they get diarrhea or whatever <laughs> the wolf is like what oh, this is so cool. They look pleasant here. <clears throat> what a joy to see you in action. He's like, you same to you, friend. Now let's go kill people. Oh, this is a really cool shot. And this is this is a fairly panel heavy um, graphic novel. We've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine panels on this page, and I mean, to the artist's credit, it does not feel claustrophobic. I don't get the sense that everything's small and I can't enjoy it. And yet, nine panels is a freaking lot of panels. This shit will beat you up. It's a lot of drawings, you know. Someone had asked me yesterday if I'd ever done sequentials, and I, and I have. I've done, I, I mean, I did 125 on Crystal Planet, but I've, I've done more um, going, like, kind of leading into that. Not a ton, but, you know. Um, but, uh yeah, you know, like Crystal Planet averaged seven to like nine panels a page. And so you you add that up and it's like you're literally doing thousands of drawings. You know, if you like if your average page, look at how many characters on this page. Imagine the amount of practice that you get just in one single page doing this, let alone a 60 page book where you, you may draw two or three thousand characters over a few months. So it really, really sharpens your skills, but it's incredibly intimidating to get into because any artist, no matter how good you are at figure drawing classes or copying from books, this, this is the next level. <laughs> it's putting it all together. It's really a skill set is how I've been describing it now in Patreon videos. It's, it's a set of skills that you learn and you learn to execute. Like, like look at this. Because you have to know clothing. You have to know perspective. You have to know facial expressions. You really need the ability to draw anything to some extent. But you can get there. You can do it. I believe in you. Man, this is good. This guy would do a really cool Punisher book. It sounds funny, but I'm like, I'm like, make this guy the Punisher. 
seems weird because this is like fantasy, but he's got a gritty style where he could tell he could tell a cool Punisher story for sure. Oh, that's great. I love this crop here. This guy spilling out of the panel is really, really good. Dude, I could look at this all day. We've really had some grand slams this week. I have to say that that um, we're looking at some some good stuff. Great stuff. Man, this is just nuts. God dang. I could look at this panel for a freaking half hour. It's really, really good, too. Oh, man, look at this. Jeez Louise. Oh, hey, no fighting, ladies. Stop it. Don't. Cats, they get all worked up when I do my videos. <laughs> the life, don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'll kick your ass. I won't really kick their ass. But I will. I will talk sternly to them. All right. Let's get back to this. Jesus. Man, that is so cool. The coloring here is beautiful, too. This is interesting. He's got the, the they're like, you know, surveying sort of like the harbor. I like, I like that he threw this in. This little other like uh, like ledge sounds funny, but it's like a nice touch. But yeah, this is gorgeous. Oh man, look at all the people down here. Let's zoom zoom a zoom in. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Is that what is that? Almost looks like an elephant, but I don't think it is. <laughs> it's got too many legs. No. Gosh. Oh, wow. This is like chunks of troops. Damn. <laughs> but, you know, again, I think that this is important to see because we so you soak in something like this and then it's put on you to say, try to draw something like this you got to understand what's going on with the the nuts and bolts of this wow we did a scene like this in vampire hunter d uh ryan benjamin and i did a book called vampire hunter d um for the the original creator uh, and uh we had a scene kind of like this Oh man, look at this. This shit is so good. It's been a while since I've looked at this. I don't remember these pages at all. God dang. That is so cool. I'm almost getting like Frank Miller vibes here. Like not not that he referenced Frank Miller, but it reminds me a little of like Ronin or like that that a little bit of like that style, just just in this area could be the perspective or something oh, this is so good oh my god Are you kidding me what is this <laughs> damn all right we gotta get it great let's go come on friends we're going in <laughs> i never do this for myself i swear to god like i i have i did i did actually though um I took Mark Silvestri's Wolverine and Marvel had done a reprint that I knew I saw it and I went, I could remove all the color on this so easily. And, um, so I did, I did do that. But, um, other than that, I, I really don't actually do this for myself, but in the videos I do it, but man, all right, let's see. I just made you guys an essential version of this. I could even remove more, but again, that's, I just wanted to see this in, in the lines. God damn, that's so cool. Just soaking it in. Yeah, you know, I mean, there's not a lot of solid black. Even even this is even, it's it's more solid. It's not. And the thing is, is 
this is tricky to do and it's stuff that that i struggle with not struggle with uh, you struggle with the concept of it because i know for a fact if you put in a lot of solid black in this it starts to really flatten things out and so it, it's it's tempting to do it where it works with more simple art when you get things that are more complex the more solid black like this area right here if he had this all over it it starts to suck your eye to it and then all of a sudden you have these dead spots and you can turn it really graphic though um it's an interesting balance but usually the people that go more graphic their stuff is more simple there's these um, I've, I've noticed it with, with even styles of art that like weird styles use certain techniques, graphic styles have a certain level of detail that they use, detailed styles do other things. And there's these sort of lanes that you get in with it that, that can be compared to other artists, but it's really, it's more a function of the actual approach to the art more than like this person did it and so these two people are similar it, it's it's the um combination of ingredients tend to only work um i mean with art you can do anything but there's certain there's certain groups of ingredients techniques that that tend to make a a working something that that works and, and doesn't look odd it's like placing a figure in a panel. There's only really so many places you can put a character, depending on the shot, without covering stuff up or whatnot. Um, this is beautiful. Man, this is so kick-ass. Let's do this in grayscale, too. I'm kind of curious to see. This in here. Oh, nope, too much. Let me take a lighter gray. All right, we'll grab... Uh, like right around here. Yeah, that'll work. Enough. I just kind of wanted to see. Let me grab my dodge tool. Is this on dodge? Ah, oh, it's on burn. Hold on. I can pull out some of this now. Oh, what is it? On medium? That's weird. Hold on. There we go. Or why is it? That's weird. Usually it doesn't. Oh, I have it on uh, funky tool. All right, I'm not going to deal with this right now. I was curious to see this bridge. Oh, this is a nice figure. This too. Man, that's good. Wow, that's some crazy shit. All right. Wow, that's cool too. Really interesting design. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, so it, it seems like the colors on this were kind of like what I remembered, which is that they, they do tend to stay in this sort of crimson -y, crimson rust, we'll call it. Which is funny, because when I picture Elric's world, I picture more blues and um, uh, kind of like cool cool colors under the ground. And it's, it's funny that it's so different. Oh, this is such a good shot. Wow. I almost did Marini today. I was super tempted to do Marini, but I've definitely done Marini at least once or twice. And so I, I was like, uh, I wanted something a little more wild too, to be honest. And I knew this was wild. Okay, so this is another very panel heavy page. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine panels. And he really opens it up. God, he really creates a lot of sense of space. It's incredible too. I mean, it's it's something that that we get used to, it and you almost become sort of um, complacent with it. But it, it's like this started with a blank sheet of paper, and he's able to create this level of depth and scale with just the placement of objects in these shots is really really phenomenal. Because I mean, it's just there's such a sense like a sense of scale and scope to it. I think Valentin um, Setcher did that really, really well, too, where it was quite open. And, and Frazado did, too, in a different way. Well, that's a great shot. Um, wow, what the fuck is going on? Look at this. This is a bad, bad man. Really cool. I'm, I'm digging the designs of the costuming. 
It's like not overdone, but looks really good. Oh man, this is great. <laughs> it's like the classic like shot here. Uh, this is really good too. This is nice. It almost like it's funny. It has a little tiny bit of like Olivier Coipel sort of vibe, and they're both named Olivier. Or no, D he's DDA. Sorry, I had a drummer in my band named DDA. All right, let's continue, my friends. Ooh, look at this down shot. Now he's just showing off. Man, this guy can draw his ass off. Look at that. That's great. Beautiful layout. God. Does anyone know what this this artist is working on now or this team of artists? Because, boy, I would really like to check out like what they're up to now. Oh, this is really cool. It, you know, it's just, it's like if someone were to ask me what was my favorite book that I did this week, they're all my favorite. <laughs> it's impossible. Like I, I, I hate. I remember, like people go, like, "Who's your favorite artist?" It's like, why do I need a favorite? I can just like it all. Bring it all to me. Let me consume it. That's really cool. Oh, man. Oh, it's a double page spread. I was like, what is going on? Dude, what, like, what in the world? Oh, my God. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, no way. That is so kick ass. I love shit like this. Oh, my God. I almost wish this panel was bigger. I mean, we're lucky because it's it is it's interesting is when um when you get the books versus the digital files, the books always look better. Always, I've never I, there's rarely rarely a circumstance where where when I buy the book that I look at it and and don't tell, like think okay this looks so much clearer. Like I thought the scans looked really good, but this this is way better. Um, depends on the book. There's definitely cases where books pr print don't print well. Wild, Wildcats Volume Two being one, um, uh, but um, the one advantage we have is that we can zoom in on stuff like this. But yeah, the reproductions are generally r r much much better uh, in the printed books. I was noticing that while I was looking at um, uh, Berserk that I got. God dang, and. Uh, it just it looks so good. Blam is the same way. The Blam those the master editions of Blam in person are just gorgeous. They're so clear. I got used to the muddy files online for Blam, and I actually like it for its own characteristics. But they're really really dirty scans. But it kind of it kind of gave it a vibe. And when I first saw it cl clean and like printed well, I was like. This is weird. It's like very different experience. So I like them both for their own um, <laughs> their own vibe now. The water is great. Oh, this is so cool. All right. Oh, my God. Okay, that was so awesome. I really seriously could do more, but I should go because I need to work. But all right, you guys have a great day. That was fun. Man, that was good. I need, I need to see more of that art. I'm going to look for an interview with him today. Hopefully I can find something that I can listen to, but there's high likelihood that it won't be in English, so it might not happen, but all right, you guys have a great day. Um, I won't be back till Sunday now. I'm going to take the rest of the day, the, the week to focus on drawing, but we will be back live, um, Sunday for super fun Sunday. And it's going to be a good one. The art, the art is amazing. And I think it'll really, it's, it's, it's really, really good. And it, it's really clear where, like I said, I think he's an excellent artist to learn from if you're interested in learning to draw comic books. So you, you can't go wrong uh, studying Roger Ibanez's work. Sorry, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.